Hey guys, it's me Yessie from Yessie Fam, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, a couple of months ago, or several months ago, I dyed my hair red, and then I continued to dye my hair red as my roots were growing, and I soon discovered that there is a lot of buildup of red, and it started to look darker. So I've been watching a lot of reviews on the color Oops. It seems to have some good results. So I'm going to just give it a shot. Why not? I do want to just lighten my hair and let my natural hair grow out and let it be. Because I, I'm not about the hair dyeing life. And I'm kind of not a high maintenance hair type of person. So it was fun while it lasted. But, you know, I'm going to just give this color oops a try and see if I like it. If not, I'm going to... I'm gonna just get a hairstylist and have them do my hair. Uh, so, wish me luck, you guys. This is the box. I got two boxes, actually. I got two boxes because I do have a lot of hair and I wanna make sure I coat everything. This box says that it gently removes permanent and semi-permanent hair color. Takes only 20 minutes, safe and easy, ammonia-free and bleach-free. Recolor the same day. I'm not recoloring, I just wanna I just want to lighten it. It says, uh, color whoops, extra strength is the safest and most effective way to reverse an undesirab undesirable hair color application in just 20 minutes. Color oops corrects your hair color by shrinking the dye molecules, allowing you to simply wash them away. And it goes on and on and on. So let me show you guys what it has inside. And there it is. I'm nervous. I'm okay. So it has two bottles. So you know, you put one bottle one and bottle two. Get your gloves. I think a lot of people know this already, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but the gloves are like on the paper. See it? Alright, there they are. So I'll be back. I gotta read these instructions. Uh, even though I did see a couple or several videos, I still gotta read these instructions. Make sure that I'm doing it right. I'll be back. All right. So this plastic is a cap. So this is something that I will be putting on once I applied the solution. It's also instructed me to comb my hair so that I don't have any tangles. So as good as it gets. It says to mix and apply liberally. So I have this shirt on that I only wear at home actually. And this is what I'm gonna wear. I hear this stuff smells disgusting. I haven't smelled anything yet. Okay. And I'll be back. I gotta go apply this. Okay, so I'm done applying it. I started with the ends and I moved on up. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to leave it on your your ends for a little bit longer or not. I don't know, but this is what's happening. Now I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna put this purple towel it to kind of contain the plastic in place and. See how that works. I'm supposed to leave it. Uh oh, what's happening here? But, well, there's that. It's non compliant. Okay, so I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes because Lord knows I will forget to um, wash it in 20 minutes and I might even go overboard. I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is just set my alarm and go wash it off and come back and show you what my results look like. Um, wish me luck. 
<laughs> I hope it works. I just want to let my, I just want to lighten it so that my natural hair can just come out and I can just let it be, even if I have a kana or two, you know, those little pesky white hairs. Mm -hmm. I know I have a few, but I'll worry about that later. So I'll tell you about this podcast that I found on YouTube and they're also on, on a, it's also on Spotify. It's called The Brain Warrior's Way and it's Dr. Amen and, and his wife, Tana Amen, and they are so incredibly informative on how to take care of our brain health. So I know, sidetrack, just, I don't know. If you guys like that type of stuff, I strongly recommend The Brain Warrior's Way. Guys, I need Botox. <laughs> this pandemic has really worked a number on my face. So, that be that. Hi guys, so I'm back. Oh, my lips are pale. Okay, so I'm back and this is what it looks like using the color, oops. Yeah, it kind of like lightened the top way more than I expected. And the bottom needs help. <laughs> um, yeah, like the bottom, like if the bottom would have looked like the, like if the top would have looked like the bottom, then I would be fine. But it doesn't I look like I did a reverse ombre or whatever. But I think I might just have to do another color oops box on the bottom part so that it kind of can match the top and then just let my hair grow out. And, you know, because hair dyeing is just not, not the light for me. It seems like, you know, my hair grows pretty fast. All right. I'm going to give that another box a try and then get back to you guys. Hey guys, so this is my second round. I did, um, I tried to do the ends to make them match the top, but I only did it for about 10 minutes. I should have just gone for 20 minutes on the ends. Something I, that I may or may not have mentioned earlier is that the Color Oops does have like an eggy off scent. It does, it's not, it's, to, it's a tolerable scent, but it's just kind of like not a very nice scent. Um, also, my hair does feel a whole lot drier than it was. And of course, it's lighter at the top. I guess because there's more heat coming from the top, it activates it more. So, yeah, I don't know. I did give it another. My children are. This is what happens when I'm trying to record. They're very, very, very <laughs> distracting to say the least. All three of them. And four of them, because my dog. You hear them? <gasps> so dramatic, these people. I think we got mail. We got mail. I'll be back. Like, if it just, you know, if it would have just stayed this color, I would have been so happy. But, you see? The top part's a little lighter. I'm gonna just let it be for now. And then, I don't know, maybe, maybe like a week or so later, give it another go on the ends. If it even works, I don't know. Um, you want your shoes? Where are you going? What's going on? You wanna go out? Huh? You wanna go out? You need your shoes. We're gonna put on your shoes, okay? Huh? It's cold. We need a sweater too, okay? Huh? Say hi. Say hi to the fam. Say hi to the fam. No? You just want to go outside? You just want to go outside? Up. Yeah. Wait, okay? Alright. Um, if I have any other things that I want to say, I'm just going to insert it somewhere, somewhere around in this video. But, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any tips on how I can get the ends lighter to match the top. I don't want to bleach. I, I really do not want to bleach. But if you guys have any information, any tips for me, let me know. Thank you and I hope you guys like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.